hi everyone and welcome back in this video we're going to go ahead and implement a route that's going to return a user's orders so what we're going to do is to query for a user and then be able to return orders that are attached to a specific user so we need to go to our orders routes and the first thing i'm going to do as usual is to create our order router so i'm going to say this is going to be our order router and then what you're going to do is to provide the route so i'll head over here and the route is going to be order slash user slash orders so what i'm going to do is to provide this so in this case it will be slash orders actually it shall be slash user and then we shall say slash orders so what i'll do is to come i'm going to come and create a async view function so this is going to be async dev so we shall say uh, get user orders so we're going to say get users orders so in this case we want to get the orders of a specific user and this is the currently logged in user so we're going to go ahead and do this so what i'll do is to first protect this route so we shall say auth jwt and then actually this is going to be the authorization dependency so this is going to be our authorized dependency which is going to be of type auth jwt and then this is going to be a dependency so we are going to call that depends function here so after doing this we are going to protect this so since i've done this over and over again i'm simply going to copy some of this code and uh, add it just in here so after adding this i'm going to go ahead and try to access the identity of the current user so i'm going to create a user object a user variable so i'm also going to copy that same code just like i did for the previous video so i'm going to copy this and after copying this i'm going to paste it so right now the next thing is going to be to query for that user so i'll say current so this is going to be our current user and it's going to be session dot query then we're going to specify that we're going to be looking for a user so we're going to filter for a user with a username uh, that's equal to the JWT identity. So in this case, we're going to say uh, user dot username, and this is going to be equal to. So right now, we're going to pass in uh, our user, then we're going to say dot first. So right after doing this, we are going to query for a specific user's orders. So just like you can see in our models.py, we established a relationship between a user and an order. So the relationship between an, a user and an order, uh, we specify them using the, relations, the relationship attribute. So this creates variables that can enable us to directly access that relationship on a specific model. So in this case, we want, we already have our user, we can be able to call our orders from our uh, from the current user dot orders just like we specified in here so if you go back here we have a user having orders and we also have uh, an order having a user so I need to come right here and what I'll do is to say a uh, return in this case we're going to say return JSONable so we're going to return JSONable encoder and then we're going to say current user dot orders hoping that everything is fine i'm going to head over to our uh, insomnia so i'm having my insomnia i'm going to create a request right here and this request is going to be to get current users so in this case we're going to say current users orders so this is going to be a get request so i'll create it and i'm going to provide the url so this is going to be localhost uh, 8000 slash orders slash user slash orders so what i'll do is to come provide the authorization header so in this case i'm going to provide the authorization header and then i'm going to specify that this is going to be bearer and then we're going to provide the token so i head over to login send this request So hoping that everything is fine i'm going to head over here and check so we we have an error here we are having uh actually this is supposed to be a, a, a method so i forgot to do that i actually this is going to be a get so i need to save it I restart our server 
so hoping that everything is fine i'm going to head over to insomnia and when i try to create this request again so we have got our access and our refresh tokens i'm going to access this and what i'll do is to go to the current users order so i'll pass in this rjwt and then make the request so right now the current user with the id actually the current user with the username has no orders hasn't created orders yet so let's go ahead and create an order uh, using the using the current user so i'm going to head over to placing an order and then what i'll do is to come and provide the jwt that we provided so i'm going to copy the old jwt and refresh and replace it with a new jwt and then what i'm going to do is to go to our body so our body is json so let's say this person is going to order for two medium size pizzas so we're going to say it's going to order for two medium size pizzas so when i send this we now see that the user has created uh, an order so if you go to getting the current users orders we're going to send this request and right now we see that we can be able to return the orders specific to that current user so in this video we've learned how to get the current users orders if you like this video please go ahead and leave a like um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content like this thank you for watching guys and see you in the next video bye